guys. Welcome to the briefing for this first stage. The main thing to grasp today is that the route is flat. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this Grand Depart in the Nice hinterland. We have an unusual route for this first stage, because in a rare event for the Tour de France, the riders will have to complete three big circuits. However, that probably won't upset the scenario of the stage. should end in a bunch sprint on the Promenade des Anglais. Guys, the road climbs as soon as you leave Nice. The early breakaway should quickly get going. The riders are already on the Côte de Rimier. They'll have to climb it three times today. His teammates are accelerating. He's no doubt asked them to reel in the counter-attack to avoid too big a breakaway. Time gap with the head of the race is stable. Guys, at the top of the climb, don't ease up straight away. After a short ledge, it will continue upwards for seven kilometers. time gap between the peloton and the breakaway is decreasing. The first riders are two kilometers from the climb. No need to insist.
burst over the top of the climb. That's good. It is not always a good idea to be too many in a breakaway, as the others will not necessarily want to cooperate with us. A teammate is beginning to lose touch. Fabio Aru is an excellent climber, capable of playing a leading role on the Grand Tours. He already has two podiums on the Tour of Italy and one victory on the Tour of Spain. Watch out! You're not going to be able to keep up this pace for very long. You risk a blow up. He's got his teammates riding because he's a danger to the overall standings. He's a free element. He can upset the apple cart if conditions are right. The first are over and into the descent on the road back towards Nice. The peloton has caught up. There's no more escapees. They're riding hard behind. This isn't the moment to relax. The race is won as a team. If your rider doesn't have enough energy to break away early in the stage, don't hesitate to use Team Com to ask teammates to attack or to change the rider. seem to be a good day for him. He's being distanced.
The peloton has just joined up with a breakaway. trying to escape. is now onto the Promenade des Anglais. The tension in the peloton will be a lot higher when they'll be preparing the final sprint. He's a pretty good ruler and has decent sprint capabilities. The head of the race has finished the first circuit. It will soon be at the foot of the Côte de Rimier. Attack at the head of the peloton. His best chance of victory is to try a breakaway from far out. One and a half minutes for the breakaway. It might just work. There will be two points and one point for the mountains classification.
face the second ascent of the Côte de Rimier. A good ruler with not too bad a punch. He should still try to get away before the finish because he's not so fast in a sprint. Yes. The head of the race has one and a half minutes lead on the peloton. The gap is increasing. We don't need to ride for now. There's nobody dangerous for us in the breakaway. Riders are two kilometers from the climb. Time difference between the peloton and the breakaway is steady. over the last climb. try to shelter from the wind so as not to consume energy. This is what allows a rider to edge clear at the end of the race. The breakaway is beginning to look dangerous. You better start riding, guys. Venga, dadle ahí. Venga. 